Hello everyone. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Mike, and this is my good buddy Dan. Hello, happy Halloween to you guys. Anyway, me and Dan have been uh, asked to tell you guys about being safe on Halloween. That's right. Our number one topic is vandalism. You see, you shouldn't be causing any vandalism. I know, I know, I know. It's a holiday and you just want to blow some stuff up, but no, it's destruction of property and it is really, really stupid to do. I know, take it from me, I'm a bomb expert and I don't do any stuff like that. You see, this is what you don't do. You don't take the normal clay, put some sodium carbonate and the copper sulfate inside of it, because then you got Semtex, which is just a little bit less potent than, uh, well, than C4. And trust me, don't pull the whole uh, blowing up the mailbox trick, because that is dangerous. You can blow your arms off with that. Okay, children, which one of you stole my mail? I need that mail back right now. It's my man! Do you guys understand what I'm saying now? Dan? Oh, come on. What did I do now? Dan, you just taught these kids how to make Semtex. That, that isn't really smart. Oh, sure. I taught them how to make Semtex. Well, at least I didn't tell them how to make uh, napalm, you know. Just put gasoline on the styrofoam. Then you got napalm. Okay, uh, let's just continue on with this before you tell them how to make a nuclear bomb. Nuclear bomb? <laughs> That's child's play. All you need to do is have a nuclear isotope and put it into a... Let's answer some questions by some of our viewers, okay? Jmate113 asks, If someone asks you to come into their house, should you? On Halloween, you should never enter somebody's house unless you know them well enough. Like, say, a family friend. Yeah. Hey Mike, remember when we went over to the Russians and started trick-or-treating? Remember how we found all those dead bodies down in the cellar? I mean, there were so many dead bodies that- Okay, moving on to the next question. You're an asshole. Adam Million asks, If an older kid stole your bag of candy, what should you do? Well, I guess you should tell somebody who's older than you. Well, there really isn't anything that you can do about that. Yes, there is. Kids, use that Semtex trick I taught you. Always keep a little mound of Semtex down at the bottom of your bag. If somebody steals your candy... <coughs> well, that's all the time we have for today. Until next time, from Mike and our company, have a happy Halloween. Last Halloween, I was chained to his wall and forced to eat a banana.